Hey, my friend, this is Gavin Manford here, founder of Six Step Social. And in this short training, I'm going to show you how to format the text on your Facebook profile to make it stand out, to make it grab people's attention instead of it just being regular, boring, dull, plain text. Now, in Facebook groups, if you've ever posted in a Facebook group, you can use the bold, you can use the headings, you can use the italics um, and, you know, different fonts, etc. But when it comes to your profile, it just looks dull and boring. And you can see this post here. You know, it's it's okay, but it doesn't really grab people's attention. It doesn't really stand out. So there's a few different resources that I'm going to give you near this video. Um, and one of them is this one here called yaytext.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the headline of this post right here. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to paste it into this box here. And now it does some really cool things with the um, with the font. And all I need to do is um, find, I want, I want this to be bold. So I'm just going to search. I'm just going to do Control F or Command F on the Mac. And I'm just going to search for bold. That's now going to find all the bold fonts here. So I've got a bold serif bold sans, bold italic. So if I wanted this font, for example, right here, all I would do is go copy and then I'd come over to Facebook. I would edit the post or, you know, if you're just creating a new post, then you can just do it here and I'll just paste it in right there. And all of a sudden it looks different. So now let's just say that I wanted to uh, leverage the power of instant messenger so we're going to grab that. We're going to come over here. We are going to go to the top and copy and paste that in. And now I want underline. So this looks a good one here. Underline double. Okay. So I'm going to go for this one. All right. Brilliant. Let's go here and let's just paste that in. Okay. Leverage the power of instant messenger. So it didn't quite work. I probably want to get rid of that bit, so I'll probably just do it again for that. Let me know, so here, if I wanted to italicize this. Now, you don't want to go overboard, obviously, but you do want to add just a few bits to it. So just search for italic. Okay, let me know, and I'll send you over more info. So copy and come back here and paste it in. And I'm just going to save that, and let's just have a look at what it looks like. So all of a sudden you can see, you know, this didn't work brilliantly. So I basically want to redo that. I'd want to just get rid of the space, the underline under the space, but you don't want to add too many different fonts and texts. You know, one or two is perfect. One or two underlines or italics or bolds or, you know, something else with a couple of emojis is going to, it's going to liven it up a little bit. And if you stick to the same kind of fonts each time, then it's going to become part of your brand and people are going to recognize those fonts as being you. Now, you don't have to do this, but it's a great way to be able to, uh, you know, grab people's attention when they come to your profile. It just looks a bit different to the regular, plain, boring text. In Facebook groups, as I said, you can actually make it stand out much easier just by using the formatting inside of Facebook. So if you have um, enjoyed this training, if you've got value from this, if you feel anybody else would benefit from it, feel free to share it with them. Um, and uh, thank you so much. I will see you in the next training. Gavin Manford here. Bye for now.